Tom wow. Strong and Getty wrapping up another <laughs> grueling four-hour workday. So many people, thanks a little time. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless America. <laughs> How pregnant was Serena when she won that tennis? Uh, that was in January, so like weeks. just barely. Like she's 20 weeks now, okay. and so that was like 12 weeks ago. So maybe somewhere between barely four to seven weeks pregnant. Yeah, but my wife got sick early on. She would not have been able to uh, play tennis. Yeah, I was gonna say if she was gonna get morning sickness, it'd be then probably. So, but she didn't. You got that. You got that. You got this over here. Twitter's a funny place. The Wyoming Police Department setting up stoner traps on 420 with the cop hiding behind the garbage can with a butterfly net. <laughs> Pretty funny. You people just keep joking about your marijuana until you jump out a window. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. Exactly. Wow, comes that is kind of funny. It's good to see the coppers with a sense of humor. Way to reach out, policeman. Reach yeah. out to your community. <laughs> My favorite tweet about the, the Bill O'Reilly thing yesterday was just from some random guy. Uh, the right person saw it and it got got some traction, but it was the worst thing about being Bill O'Reilly is that everyone thinks his name is Teenage Wasteland. Yeah. I, I wonder if, uh, speaking of the cops having sex with the prostitutes, I wonder if prostitution is going to have the unbelievable flip that, like, Smoking Pot has had. I could see that being the next thing. That just in a couple of years goes from no way to, okay. I think so, probably, yeah. Yeah, I don't... I mean, a lot of I mean, the we're same, getting more and more secular, less and less religious. A lot of the same arguments, you know, adults should be able to do what adults want to do, and yeah. You know. Just because something's a bad idea doesn't mean it should be illegal, Mister and Mrs. America. It's called liberty. The sex trafficking part of it is the uh, wild card. Yes, that's yeah. much more prevalent. Well, to me, but that's like the difference between slavery and labor. It's just fornicating is your line of work. So. I can't traffic in underage Filipino girls to produce radio shows, so I think that'll be the distinction. Yeah. You can't uh, force anybody to do anything. Unless you're the government. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm in contact with the uh, the guy who's organizing Coulter's Berkeley event, trying to bring her on uh, probably next week for that. Beautiful. Um, Blonde-haired she-fascist? <laughs> yes, that one. <laughs> Just tell her people, no self-promotion during the interview. <laughs> um, and then uh, working on... Oh, no, the, the Weekly Standard is doing like some sort of thing in June in Colorado, but they kind of want to bring on some people to try to drum up some support from it, so they're offering maybe a thing with Bill, Bill Crystal And the guy that you said that you'd like to see do a show... Steve uh, Hayes. Yes, him. So uh, would you be interested in talking to him as well? Sure. What are they trying well, to do? We had him on last for? time. We promised we'd have him on again soon, and we, we have not. As soon is a relative term. This seems right. like just an amount right. of time. In, uh, you know, astronomical sure. years. It's really. practically immediate. <laughs> um, so what are they doing? What are they with? Uh, some sort of uh, event that they're looking to just drum up some attention for and sell they, seats to. Don't they do a cruise where you get to see Bill Crystal and Steve Hayes in a bikini or whatever it is? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be the thing to go to. <laughs> nice. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. That's a big yes. And we got Ian Bremmer tomorrow, huh? Mm -hmm. couple of segments? Two segments, yeah. Fantastic. It's all come together. Now I don't have to think about it at all little more. And we have that uh, the college uh, article that we weren't able to get today. We got that tomorrow on the 9 o'clock, too. Oh, right. Yeah, we flogged that stuff pretty heavy today anyway. So, well... Are there any peeps left in the uh, lunchroom? I'm off. <laughs> <laughs>